you sure this is the right ring, man? Of course I am. This is a shortcut. Maybe. But don't you know what, man? Please. is dead now. Well done, Ben. You idiot. We nearly died, what now? No signal. We're gonna need to look for help somewhere. We are in the middle of nowhere, Tampers. How are we gonna find somebody? Let's first go back to the road. I think I saw a house somewhere up there. Anybody home? Looks empty. Maybe it's a panda. It looks like that. Somebody is in my house. Who are these people? At least they don't seem dangerous. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my house? We've crashed our car in the middle of nowhere, and we're looking for help. This house looked abandoned? No, it isn't. It's mine. Anybody got hurt? Well, we had luck. Our car not so much. It's in disrepair. Okay, well. You can stay. The house is big enough. Just don't go outside at night. Why? There's something wrong with these woods. I don't know more than that. Don't ask. Well, we hadn't planned to go out at night anyway. So that's that. Damn it, I left my phone at the wreck. And? We got no signal here anyway. We can fetch it tomorrow. But I need to check my life and read a page. Hey! Stay! You heard what the huntsman said! I fear Sheila went outside. Why the hell would she do that? Didn't you hear what the huntsman said? I guess she doesn't care. She cares more for her mobile which they obviously left at the car. Okay, I'll go and look for her. You two stay here. Where 
just a damn car. Damn it, there is something wrong with these wolves. She says dead. There's some kind of a killer on the loose. I'll head back and fetch the others. your friends? I don't know. She just seemingly forgot her mobile at the car, went out, and then went after her. That's the last we heard of them. And that will be the last forever, I guess. Told you there's something wrong. But let's look for them. Who killed them? I don't know, man. I told you I don't know much about these woods. Came here only a few months ago. All I've heard are rumors about a mad killer, so I never went out at night. And you never thought of going after him? After all, you are armed. To go after him, I'd need to know more about him. And I don't want to know. All I want is a life in peace which you folks disturbed. Come to think of it, that would make me the perfect suspect, I guess. But I can assure you, all I kill are animals. I want to know more about that stuff. Then you will have to visit the cult up in the mountains. But beware, they are not friendly to visitors. But maybe someone up there can tell you more about it. So, you want to know what's that about the killer in the woods? That's a long story. A long time ago, in the house, the huntsman lives who sent you to me. There lived a family of three, the Bannisters. A father, Charles, a mother, Hannah, and a son by the name of Thomas, called Tom. One day, the son snapped. Nobody knows why or what happened, and he went on to kill his parents. Then, he vanished in the woods. Police searched, but never found him. So he was declared dead, probably falling down a cliff or something. But he wasn't it seems, because the nights in the wood became dangerous. Every now and then someone wound up, stepped to death. Soon rumors spread that Tom Bannister is still out there, killing random people. Hell do I remember the night they chased him. Everywhere were choppers lighting up the woods, and lots and lots of policemen searched the woods. They looked under each stone, and they found Tom Bannister, indeed, still alive, a wild animal of a man who gave them the fight of their lives. Though only armed with a knife, he took out a lot of them. Before a shot to the head, finally stopped him, already bleeding from doses of gunshot wounds. The body was carried off, and everybody returned to his business. After all, Tom Bannister was dead. As someone can be, wasn't he? Well, that's what everybody thought at least. Indeed, for a few months, the woods were safe. Or at least seemed to be. Nobody died at night. But then, 
it started again. Every now and then the police conduct another search, but they never find anybody. And thus it is for more than 20 years now. Nobody knows who kills all the people. Don Bannister can't be. He is definitely dead and buried. But who is it? And what worries me even more, did Tom Bannister really kill his parents and the people after? Or were his parents victims of that monster out there and he got accused and finally killed for something he didn't really do? Or did he simply come back from the dead to haunt these woods forever? We will never know. Come on, give me a weapon. I will hunt that killer down. Do you think you are the first ones to try that stunt? I'm gonna tell you where the others are. Dead. Dead ass bricks. You're going after a ghost. We don't believe in ghosts. Only rednecks can believe there even could be something like that. The killer is somebody like you and me. Flesh and blood. What? Right. And what is for flesh and blood can be killed. I'm no redneck. And I'm not dumb either. Not like you who came back to those woods, knowing there's a supernatural killer on the loose at night. You don't think we have a right to fight that guy? He killed my girlfriend and her boyfriend. We want revenge. Ah, yep. I know the saying. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Right? Wrong. You will wind up dead like your friends. We won't. We are not as dumb as the people in horror flicks. We stay together and don't split up. Why is he going to kill us one after the other if he never finds us separated? There's only a knife. Remember what you told me of the tale of that old man? Tom Bannister had only a knife too. And he took one hell of a lot of policemen with him. You are only two. Easy praise if you ask me. Three, if you come with us. Sounds less like an invitation than a threat. But as I have some combat experience indeed, maybe I really can be of some help. You know where I keep my weapons. Take the one of your choice and let's go. He's quiet. Of course he is. But I sense him he's near. He's watching us. 